Marhaba, that's hello in Arabic. I'm Chef Kamal and you're cooking with Kamal Lebanese style. We're going to make lentil soup with ruby, Swiss chard, and lemon. Now this is on page 166 in my cookbook. This is absolutely delicious. What I love about this recipe is you can make it on a, on a, like a warm summer evening. It's perfect. You serve it at room temperature and in winter you serve it right off the stove. It's absolutely delicious with some nice rustic bread and olive oil. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to go through the ingredient list and then we're going to do the procedure. So again, this is on 166 in my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine. Now Ruby Swiss chard is packed with nutrients. It's in the same family as beets and spinach. So it really has an impressive ingredient list, nutrient list. So it's delicious and it's good for you. So let's go through the ingredients that we're going to be using for this soup. We're going to start with four cups, just lightly packed Swiss chard. Now what you do is you remove this thick rib and then cut the leaf in half down the rib and then we're going to cut it widthwise into about one inch slices. We're going to need four cups lightly packed of this. We're going to use a half a cup of brown lentils and I've already go ahead and put the salt here. This is a half a cup, a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to be cooking these in four cups of water in just a little bit. You need a quarter cup of olive oil, which is in my saute pan, because that's what we're going to be sauteing part of the soup in. We need two cups diced yellow onion. This is a quarter of an inch diced. And then the seasonings that we're going to be using are a quarter teaspoon salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and three quarter teaspoon coriander. This is ground coriander seed. It's just going to add to the flavor. In a mortar, using a mortar and pestle, we're going to put two large garlic cloves with also a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to be chopping this fresh cilantro. We're going to coarsely chop this. We're going to need three quarter cup of that. We're going to need one and a half teaspoons of flour. This is just going to thicken the soup a bit. And then finally, we'll add two and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, we're all set. So let's go ahead and begin preparing the soup. So I have four cups of water here that I'm just bringing to a boil. I'm going to add the half a cup of lentils and I have the half a teaspoon of salt in there. I'm just going to go ahead and stir those. We're going to let this come to a boil and then what we'll do is we're going to cover this, set aside on medium low, allowing it to let the lentils cook until they're tender. So this is just going to boil See, this is beginning to boil, so what we'll do is we're just going to switch this. I'm going to put this on, the, on a back burner over here. There we go. We'll stick that on medium-low, allowing these to cook. And now we're going to make the rest of the ingredients for the soup. So we'll just now... This is the quarter cup of olive oil. I'm going to preheat this in a large skillet over medium-high heat. Let's go ahead and add our onions. Now this is what we're going to be adding to the lentils. Once they're cooked, we're going to add this mixture to the lentils. So we've added the two cups of diced onion. This is the quarter inch diced onion. I've preheated a quarter cup of olive oil in a large skillet over medium-high heat. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, and three quarter teaspoon coriander to the onions. And we're just going to keep stirring and cooking these until they brown and caramelize and become translucent and tender. So that's just going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, so now our onions are caramelized, so we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients to the onions, and then we're going to add all of that to the lentils. So we took the two large garlic, and I mashed them up with my pestle, using a mortar and pestle. We're going to go ahead and add that. We're going to add the chopped up the cilantro, so this is three quarters of a cup of cilantro. Ooh, it smells wonderful. Now we're going to add our four cups of Swiss chard. Now what we want to do, we're just going to cook this until the Swiss chard wilts. Mm. 
We're also going to add the teaspoon and a half of flour. And this is just going to help when we add it to the lentils. This is just going to help thicken it up. Once the Swiss chard has just wilted, go ahead and add it to the beans. Okay, that's perfect. That's just what we want. It's just wilted, so I'm going to transfer the beans to here. And we're going to add this mixture. See, these are nice and tender now. So go ahead and add. There we go. Okay. We'll add that to the beans. We're just going to mix this in. And then we're going to cover it and on low for 10 minutes, allowing it to cook and the flavors to develop together. So we'll turn this down to medium low and we'll cover it. We'll come back to it in 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's been about 10 minutes. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our fresh lemon juice. I'm just gonna mix that in and that's perfect. Now you can serve it hot like this, or you can cool it a bit. I like it just a little bit cooler, like at room temperature, like slightly warm. But you just take this, I'm just gonna use a little scooper here, just put it in a dish. This is so delicious. You just heat up some warm pita bread or any one of your favorite sort of rustic breads. Okay, and I just, little bit. There we go. This is called Aras Bihamud in Arabic. It's lentil soup with Swiss chard, sahtain, double health. This recipe is one of 170 fresh and healthy recipes found in my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine. You can find my book at Amazon.com and other online book venues. It's also available at my shop, shopkamal.com, where you can get signed copies that will be personalized to your friends and family. It also comes with a DVD tutorial, 41 tutorials showing people how to grow grape leaves, dice onions, lots of tutorials that will help you with these recipes, as well as other recipes. The book also has a color photograph of each recipe with easy step-by-step -step directions helping you prepare your favorites. So I hope you've enjoyed this Sahtain Double Health.